Welcome back. So if you are like me, you likely throw away a lot of perfectly good product, whether it's your hair uh, lotions or makeup or whatever. You throw it away because it gets difficult to get it out sure. of the bottle or the tube or what have you. So we like to do neat cheats around here. And we've got some neat cheats for you. And we're actually going to demonstrate this ourselves. But I have to tell you, I have not tried any of these yet. So this is not me coming on as an expert and saying, like, this is what I do. So I went to the dollar store, first of all. Well, first, everything starts on Pinterest. Then, uh, having done that, I went to the dollar store. So every single thing, including the products, they may not really be the ones I use, but including the, everything is from the dollar store. So absolutely everything. So the first thing I'm going to tell you is, if you want to get into this thrifty mindset, there are some supplies you can pick up right now at the dollar store and just have them so you're always ready to sure. use these neat cheats. So what is that? Okay, so these, I believe, would be slushy straws. You know, if you make a slushy in a yeah. spoon. Okay, so I got those at the dollar store I didn't today. even know that was a thing. Well, it is. These are cooking something or other, little plastic forks, I guess if you're serving hors d'oeuvres. But look at this end. It's almost like a palette. I saw makeup um, little um, spatulas. Um, in like for ten dollars each, these were at the dollar store. So I like that. This is I think for pills, but it, we're gonna. I'll show you how we're gonna use those. That was from the dollar store. Big old turkey baster, uh, a couple other containers, and so forth. So let's start out, Mark, with you and this lotion. So okay. when you know when these things get to the bottom, it's hard to get yeah, the stuff out. So you start. Straw I want come you to start cutting. Okay. On that, I'm gonna show you what we're gonna do with that. So just All cut right. it right mm -hmm. off, right? Yep, I want you to cut that. In the meantime, oh, you're getting right in there. Okay. In the meantime, you have a big choice to make on which spatula, which color spatula you're going to use. I think we're going to go with orange. All Love right. it. So very simple, almost, almost too simple. Just start spooning it in there. All right. There you go. So okay. So now you've preserved. All that was left. That that can add up after a oh, while. Absolutely, especially too. Maybe that's it, and you need it right then and there. Now you can yeah, go and have access right to it. Yeah, it's right there. Keep it right there. Okay. They never make the straw long enough to touch the way bottom. You ever notice exactly. that? Exactly. All right. Now we're going to go to the lipstick. All right. So I know this is something that you all battle. the time this happens. Yeah. <laughs> the lipstick either breaks off, in which case you can use a lighter and try to reattach it, <laughs> or you can, if you're to the bottom of your lipstick, this is that little forky thing and your little spatula. And this is where these little bottle things come in. We're just gonna we're gonna pick red for lipstick. So I'm just gonna scoop it out. Yeah, just scoop it out. Now you have like a a whole another little like pot of lipstick that you can use. Apply with a Q-tip. Oh, fingers. I see. Okay, I was just gonna ask that. Yeah. So yeah, Q-tip to put it back on. Yeah, because people do that. All right. So that's oh, that's right there. Okay, Perfect. you're at the bottom of your nail polish or your mascara. You can put it in hot water and then try to mix it up. But if all else fails, this is another dollar store find. Eye drops in your mascara. Shake it up. That's to make that last longer. And that longer. makes it mm -hmm. dilutes it or something, so it comes it out. It dilutes it, and you're putting something in there that it's okay to put near your eyes. Makes sense. Does that make sense? That's a great tip. Okay. So then, uh, as far as the nail polish, add some nail polish remover to that. Shake it up. That thins it out a little bit and makes it last. But before you do any of those things, you're always going to try to soak them in the hot water. So okay. So we didn't do anything terrible. I left one thing out that's really cool. Alcohol in your eyeshadow when it's broken, and then you try to, to re. And yeah. these fall all the time at my house. They crack, so you have to put it together. Uh -huh. Those are great tips. Do you have any of those neat cheats? How about you email them to us at rivercitylive at wj